Hit a stinger. Oh yes. Great. That that had to I be. mean that that's got the dub. I I can't. Hey. Back to another GM Golf video today. We are back out here at this lit range, Waters Creek, over here in Allen, Texas. We're gonna be doing a. Oh, you brought your clubs today. I did bring my clubs. Oh today. my gosh, look at this, Matt. You yeah. brought yours too. Yeah, what the heck? Kidding? In today's video, we're gonna be doing another lit range video. I saw all the comments on the Road to Pro video where you guys really enjoyed my range session. So we're gonna be doing a little ultimate stinger golf challenge and probably doing some long drive challenges here and there throughout the video. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. You can see the ball flight. It's gonna be pure. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm about to wreck some. Boys. The teams in today's video are gonna be Team Twigs versus Team Fun Size, no matter what. All I'm saying is a domination station is about to roll through. I know we're doing an ultimate stinger challenge, but I think we should do a long drive challenge with this seven iron in Matt's hand. Full video of us playing around a golf with these tiny clubs coming soon. I think they are literally the world's smallest golf clubs. Unfortunately, we do not have a track man. I wish we did. Who can hit this seven iron? That's about one and a half feet tall, the farthest. Okay, man. Oh, those two balls almost. I think that went about 135 yards. Okay, Tig is absolutely bombing it. Never seen anything like it. It truly is his size club. That's the importance of getting fit for clubs, guys. I'm telling you, it not only adds distance, but it adds accuracy. Oh my, what a shot. That's my teammate right there. Bro, this is some of the worst golf I've ever seen. He's going on his knees. <laughs> Literally. All right. All right, we'll see what Matt has. Oh my. I'm telling you, the fun size know how to hit this club, and it's not a coincidence. We're going to get into the first challenge, and that is going to be who can hit the best stinger draw. Now, each of us get two balls to attempt this from each team. And then from that, we're going to go who can hit the best stinger fade, then who can hit the best stinger period, and then we're going to get into a bunch more challenges. Let's get right into it, guys. Whoever wins the most ball flight challenges in today's video wins 100 bucks. For this stinger challenge, you have to use a three-wood, and you have to tee the ball up. Stinger draw is the first shot, and Colin, you're the judge. Oh, gosh. I I don't know if I can handle their responsibility. <laughs> Team fun size goes first. Here we go. Take up. Oh my. A little too low, kind of rolled. Now that was. Yep. Alright, his first one was definitely better. When you hit stingers, guys, just be ready for it to mess up your swing a little bit. It does. For some of you guys, though, it's going to pull your swing back on plane. Here we go. We got Matt. Okay. Oh. Wait, oh, and that is in the air with a little stinger <laughs> fade, folks. <laughs> We're good. That's pretty good. I drew about a foot. I like it. I say that's probably better than Tig's first one. Just by a little that bit. It wasn't even stinger. What kind of rose? It had yeah, a little rise That was good. That was really good. Because it got in the air enough to like carry. I don't know how to judge this. Thing. Oh. That was pure. Hey. A good job. That thing is. Oh. That was the most pure stinger. That was stinger. the pure stinger. It didn't, it didn't draw. Yeah, that was literally that, dead that was straight. Like, that would have won the most pure stinger. <laughs> that thing rose too. Rising up. That was a beast shot right there. It's called pure skill. You better slap a like on the video for that. Okay. Oh hey, no. That is, uh, I mean, I say that probably <laughs> wins so far. That did have a little draw. It did draw. Okay, but the problem is it can't hit the ground 10 feet in front of me. Oh yes. Great. That, that had to I win. mean, that, that's got the dub. I, I can't. Hey, so I think after the first challenge, I'm pretty sure it's obvious. I was a close second, but I think Garrett took the dub on that one. Team Twigs currently uh, one Team up. Twigs is no longer Twigs, baby. No, we are built like tree trunks. On to challenge number two, the Stinger Fade. Stevens, this is where you this need to win, me. bro. This is he is right in his forte. I mean, it's straight. Man. I, I, uh, <laughs> that is just insane. Steven, I'm so I love happy. where your game is at. I love, Steven, I love where the game is at. Oh! Oh! It's uh, why do you just keep hitting a straight? These so are so straight. clean. I'm not even gonna lie. I could use this on the course. That just rose really high. Pretty really clean with it, I will say. That was a good one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my. <laughs> About a two foot fade. I mean, stingers, you guys know this already. That's where I throw high. Got Tom, how do you like that second one? I mean, come on. That was honestly probably, even like from when we were at the range for you the other day, I feel like that was one of your better stingers. That was probably my best one ever. I'm hitting it better now, guys. I'm feeling good. Tig is up here. A little high. I like the fade action. Not the height we want to see, but it was, that was pure, I'll tell you that. Ah, it's a tough shot to hit. Is Garrett still winning? Yeah. Here we go, we got Matt. That is 
Not when you hit it like, I mean, that is, honestly, that's the opposite of a, of a stinger. Is it negative stinger if, if, if we're upside down? I honestly want to try and hit a golf ball upside down. <laughs> I mean, just an absolute moon bomb is what it was. It was pure. Stinger fade is not in the bag. Team Twigs takes the two up lead, which means we're up now on the last three wood stinger challenge part of this video, where we have to try and hit it dead straight, the most pure stinger possible. Oh, oh, it's dead straight. Oh, it's a tiny bit high. It's definitely beatable. I got this one lower. Oh, it's, it's high. Dead. You gotta start trying to do that. All right, Garrett, you can destroy this. What oh the heck is that? Definitely baby draw. Is that winning right now, Colin? Yeah, I would say yeah, just based on height. Oh my, that's a draw. That one moved more, but it was definitely better than my first one, in my opinion. Oh, Ooh, a little right. Oh, oh, that's a bit of a draw. Yeah. Ooh, uh, dang, that was low though. I think that might be a tiebreaker because I feel like those were equally low, but also equally moving, moving to, right. to right to left. Let's just see what Matt does. If we may yeah, have to Matt, leave. if Matt does something. <laughs> I almost had it. I almost had it. That was very low. So far, the team twigs are dominating. Oh, 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 that's a W. That's, oh, a, that's a W, that's, oh, that's baby. Got, that's that gotta be a so W. Much. Okay, at two to one. Two okay. to one now. Um, so from here on out, guys, there's no long drive competition because we already lost that, let's be honest. We have two points, they got one point. We're gonna give this to them with who can hit the most pure drive. We each get two shots, kind of like the same thing, but it's just who can hit the best drive. All around, best shot shape. Colin, you better do a good job judging. You have to have a target line. The red pin back there, so that's your target line. You gotta hit it over that red pin. All right, take up here first. I will the... say that wasn't hit that good, but it was pretty good. Tig's trying to get that one dialed in because he's not happy with it. Now Ooh. that is, okay. it started going left, but it is only about 10 yards left of the flag. It was destroyed. Okay. It was a tiny bit left. And that thing is probably over those trees in the back though. You'll be able to tell. When you see the one, you'll be like, oh. That's the one. That's the one. You don't need to marry it. Exactly. <laughs> Team fun size. Yeah, big guy. Don't you love how they build each other's confidence? Big guy. Shot number two. Alright, so Steven, a little game plan from Team Twigs here. Do not try and guide the ball. Swing out of your shoes. Got it. It was uh, pure. I'm not That was lie. pure was going pure. off a little to the right there. See, that, that is weird because you can see that all the way down. Into the tree. For me and Matt, they disappeared on the way up. Yeah. Oh! oh. It, it, he won. It's directly That's over. That was right over the it top. It literally, hold on, I'm following it. It might, oh literally my directly over the fence. That's pretty decent, but it, that's 20, 30 yards left. Of the day. Still on. Both left. That was a good drive. Yeah. The drive just going left. When you hit a draw, guys, you always want to make sure that your ball lands right at your target. We are currently on to challenge number five. We got three points, Team Twig. We're gonna be doing the highest two iron, oh. which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win that. No tee. Woo! Okay, that's pretty dang hot. Uh, that's a little lower than your first one. Guys, so there we go. I don't know, you guys can kind of see how high it was. It's tough to hit a two iron high. Here we go, we got Steven, two iron challenge. He hits it, uh, it just wasn't. Oh my. Pure ball flight at its finest. Oh. And that is not high. I have a feeling Matt has a really good chance of winning this one for some reason. I could, because I'm could. i going to accidentally do it. That's the thing. It's good. For some reason, I just can't get this two iron up. If we had the other two iron, it's obviously, it's game over. It's like game I, over like for you. Just no. you that other and if it's yeah, like a flop right shot, it doesn't count. Like, it's got to be a full swing. You know what I'm saying? We played four challenges. Uh, uh, well, you hit it high, but look how far right that is. That was a full swing. You said it doesn't about direction. I said it was a mixture between direction. I just you said, said it's more on height. Play, it's more on height, but it does have direction in it. I mean, that was fading off to the right, but it wasn't like a bad strike, but it was really high. So if Matt does that same shot, but hits it more at the pin, he's guaranteed win. And if not, we might have to have a playoff or make Colin decide. Ooh. Uh, that was a little 
little less of a cut. Chunky with it, it's still high. I think Matt wins though. Yeah, I think that one Because he, high. again, a little bit off the right, but still high. So anyway, Steve and I are currently at three. They're at two. Let's go to challenge number six. They get to pick it. It's going to be a stinger. It has to be underneath the flag, but it has to be closest to the pole. Right here, closest to the pole. I like it. Full swing three wood too. There's no babying this one here, guys. Yo. Just by it. Oh my god. I can see from this angle is about a foot and a half left. Oh, hey guys, I topped that. That first one's gonna be hard to beat. Yo, we got Matt with three wood. It's even dialed up in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that was pure, folks. Now, thank you. Straight up. Thank you guys for coming in. Nice. All right, guys, we got Steve. This is his first attempt to try to hit it lower than the flag and closest to the pole. <laughs> I want to show you something. He hit the top of the. <laughs> that just immediately left the screen. Steve, second attempt. That is so bad. There was nothing. Hey, you guys have a chance. I'm not gonna lie. Where Trust me, I know. Where? All right, get it. If anybody would beat it, it would be him. Okay. Right. That was that was uh, that was a little bit. Second attempt. This is their chance to go four to two. Oh. That was below the flag, as yeah. you guys could tell. But unfortunately, so mine was closer. Though, That's definitely I can't ball. believe that I got it Let's that close right go, away. Tig. Here. That's three to three. This is the tiebreaker to win the challenge. Ah. Colin, you pick it. Oh gosh. Whoever loses has to pick up every ball. Flop shot Flop. close to the pin. Steve, close to the old with flag. a two iron. Some Flop shot Some with a two game. iron. Closer to the pin. I would say about a 60 yard target and you can't baby it either. This one's tough. Oh. That one's a little long. Oh, you know, yeah, that's a good flop shot though. That is right. Oh, that's still pretty good. That's play of, okay. Shot number two. Oh baby. Wow, baby, sit. Still long. You can't get underneath the ball. Wow. All right, we will hit the green. Okay, that was actually good. Oh. It's a little longer than Tig's second one, maybe. Oh, wow. I mean... Wow. Oh, that is... Frick, that's on the green. That's a dub. I love those flop shots, man. Let's watch Steven. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good ball. Great shot. Oh, you were you were thinking the same idea. I'm just gonna hit a few shots, but why not? I got four iron, guys. Hit a stinger. Woo! There it is. That's the shot shape I want, guys. There it is. There it is. Team Twigs took a dub. Hey, guess what? That's 16 to 11. Let us know if you like these like more real golf stuff. Be sure to stay tuned for all the future videos. Five times a week uploading. So I don't know what you guys are doing if you haven't subscribed and you like golf content. You guys can't see me anymore, but... Once upon a time and a long time ago. <laughs> the lights just turned off. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, night, morning, whatever it is for you guys. Peace.